Good evening and welcome back once again. So we are into January, we've got a few players back as you can see, the likes of Messi who I'm actually going to start in that central attack midfield role today with Castro, Diaby and Martinelli up top. Debushi has come back so he's going to start at right back position just to give Trippier a little bit of a rest. And we've got the likes of Mandanda who's like third choice keeper now, we'll probably be looking to try and sell him if possible. Balbuena centre back again, he's a bit far behind some of the other young centre backs so we may either send him out on loan or sell him if we possibly can. But let's jump into the match. And a couple of other pieces of news, we have been able to make Pedri a permanent signing now, we had enough salary budget with a few million to spare and obviously the transfer budget was I think it was like 68 million to buy him and we had over 100 so I haven't got much left obviously um, he is now officially a permanent player I don't think it actually goes through until July um, but we don't have to worry about that anymore and we still haven't made a decision on the Herrera situation so we got a bid in for him we managed to up the price to 15 million which is pretty much almost his market value I'm going to make a decision after this game because there's a player that I could potentially replace him with, uh, a regen, not a new regen, because some new regens have come through, but one that I've looked at a while ago. Now, whether we can sign him or not is, is another question. If we can get the player in mind, he'd be a, a fantastic centre midfielder that we would have for many years to come. I believe he's 17. Oh, quick start from for the while here. I need to concentrate. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I didn't change the, uh, the squad numbers. So Messi needs to be number 10 and he's not. We'll change that later. Castro. Oh, just wide. Thought that was going to be in. But yeah, the centre midfielder in question, I think we may be able to afford him if we sell Herrera. I'm not sure. Because the release fees, what, it was like 50 odd million. Here's Pedri. Pedri still. Pedri still, that's wide. Thought he was going to score after all that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember actually how much we've got in the bank and how much the release fee was and obviously how much we'll get for Herrera, which is 15. Um, we may not have enough, you know. So we may have to wait for other transfers or loans to go out, which we should be getting some. We should be at least getting some loans going out and getting some fees for those. I hope anyway, but sometimes they don't come toward until the end of the uh, transfer window. It's Martinelli now. Good play from him. A poor pass though. Get a free kick. And they're playing it quickly. I'm glad they did because normally for direct free kick, it's it's not absolutely guaranteed to be a goal, but it more often is than isn't. So, oh, do be free here? And a great finish. Power past the keeper. I don't think the keeper even saw that. Nice ball here. A little one two of Castro. A nice ball through. Absolutely smashed in the roof of the net. Just took his time. Took a touch. Didn't panic in the slightest. Just turned on his favourite left foot. Well, we can hit it with his right equally as well, I think. It's Messi now. Diaby. Now Messi. It's good to have him back. 
into Pedri. Strong up a little bit of strength and balance. Here's the Bushi. Nice ball in. Oh, what a finish. Acrobatic from Castro. Ball out wide to Debushi. It's a nice ball lane, but this is all about the finish. Look at that technique. It's just behind him. Perfect place for a, an acrobatic volley. Bicycle kick. Great stuff. What a finish there from Castro. Absolutely love that goal. Don't score many of those acrobatic ones. I've done a couple from corners and they weren't quite fully bicycle kicks. That one was a true overheader. Debussy getting his assist. Coming back from being on loan. Ah, give that away there. It wasn't a foul. Here's Messi. Messi still. Nice ball into Castro. Oh, fired wide. Messi's already linking up. Obviously his favourite position is probably that right wing. At least for me it is. But that central he's so good at as well. I do like him in that sort of right wing. Dropping back in sort of role. Oh, it's a bit of a poor ball from Diaby. It was on there. <sighs> yeah, I did caught him, catch him, but it was some... Yeah, minuscule. Anyway, it's 2-0. Here's Castro. Now Martinelli. Oh, Martinelli had acres of space. He still does, but it's behind him. And that's poor Martinelli now. Messi. Martinelli. Messi again. It's not much space. Now Messi. Back at Pedri. Diaby. Pedri. Oh, well, that's an own goal, and that's unfortunate. I mean, Pedri's a bit unfortunate not to get a goal there as well. It's nicely worked. Diaby back to Pedri. Lovely strike, but a bit unlucky. And the keeper very, very unlucky. Not going to uh, watch that one again. I hate own goals. Mainly from a selfish point of view, as it doesn't count towards your stats for your player, so... Oh, nicely played through to Castro. And Martinelli with a tap in. And it's three before half time. Really nice tap for Marie there. Castro played down. Could have been could have went for the shot and it wouldn't have been selfish. The shot was on. But the right thing to do was just to square it to Martinelli. He was making sure he was on side, and then he's just got to tap it in. So in the space of a of a couple of minutes, it's uh, it's got a four nil now. Did I say three nil before when I scored? I might have done, you know. Obviously, it's four. Here's Pedri. Nice play to Messi. Now Martinelli. Messi. And <laughs> he's back in the scoring boots. First game back. Did that deflect or was it just a shot? The dip on it. it seemed to take a weird trajectory. That was my eyes. Ah, the keeper got a touch. That's what it was. 
Didn't see that first time. I, I thought I'd taken deflection of some sort. Nice shot though. Great goal. And half time. What a first half. Castro is definitely the one in the running for man of the match. He's been involved in nearly all of the goals. And obviously getting that amazing uh, acrobatic finish earlier on. That's poor pass there. Castro wins it back. Now Diaby. Now Martinelli. Back to Diaby, but straight at the keeper. Really well worked. And that's when our pressure really pays off. You can see it. We, we put that pressure on all match. It doesn't always work. And sometimes you leave gaps in midfield by putting that pressure on. But when it pays off, you often catch the uh, opposition high up the pitch. work there oh, nice play from Messi it's a poor touch from Diaby though that is a free kick we'll take it quickly it's a free kick again no more injuries please had enough of those and no I think we'll have Bushy take this. And I think we'll try and get Oh try the first timer. And it, it worked, just didn't hit the target. Free kick itself, uh the plan worked. That's never a free kick. Never a free kick. Yeah, but I'm really interested to see if we can get that centre midfielder. I'm, I'm not sure. Like I said, I can't remember his release fee, but I think it might be 58 billion. And if it is, I don't think we're going to have enough money, even with selling Herrera. Here's Castro. Sorry if you can hear some music blast in there. Here's Messi. Messi again. Messi off the post. What a strike that was. We'll make some subs now. So Vieira is going to come in place of Messi. Xerxes in place of Castro. And Lee Kang in in place of Diaby. I nearly did keep Messi on. But I think in the next sort of 10 or 15 minutes. He's going to be absolutely flat out on his feet. So you know. There's going to be plenty more game time for him. He's played well today. Obviously he's got a goal. And he's been involved quite a lot. Let's save his legs for next time. Get fresh centre forward in in Xerxes. And here he is. Good save. Oh, that's a. Oh, it's in. And <laughs> Kang and Lee gets a header. What a strange goal. It it was a poor corner. It was an even worse punch by the keeper. What is he doing there? Straight up and Kang and Lee. It just loops over and <laughs> keep us in no man's land. What a strange goal. Poor keeping. Nice header from Kang and Lee. That's a good start. Kangani's first touch since coming on, and it's uh, straight in the back of the net. Good stuff. Yeah, really impressed with Messi today, though. Pedri's been good. Castro should be man of the match. It's been absolutely outstanding. Guardiol. Oh, pass was just over hit there.
just clear on that actually worked out well really well oh Martinelli just gets caught there just took one touch too many and the defence managed to catch up nice turn but he went straight into uh, trouble he is back oh. Oh. what did he say about that why are you showing a replay for that <laughs> he was like in row Z somewhere remember he scored a cracker the other day against uh, Real Madrid I mean what a team to score like a goal of the season against Trying to emulate that there, but it was nowhere near. That's a poor pass. Six nil though, and we'll be at least still seven points clear of Real Madrid, depending on their result, obviously. Be interested to see if they drop any points anytime soon, or oh, could be in here. Vieira, really nice ball to Xerxes, Xerxes, oh what a finish, a lobbed finish over the keeper, brilliant stuff. It's a great pass from Vieira, nice first touch, and keeper <laughs> embarrassed once again. Yeah, perfect weight in the pass. Just in it was stride. A couple of decent touches. And absolutely perfectly weighted over the keeper there. Six, he's been absolutely brilliant. Now remember, he's, he's actually got that new role of superstar. And um, the roles that players have, which can affect, they give you additional benefits and things. So he's officially a superstar for the club. Got that a couple of matches ago. Still not sure how you actually obtain them. Um, I think there's some things that are a little bit of a mystery, which is fine, but that's not the best of balls. I mean, Kang Lee's gonna come oh, on, nearly won it back. So a few minutes left, but it's 7 0. Couldn't ask for much more. I would say especially, you know, when you've got some players coming back and you're trying to slot them back into the team, the chemistry can be affected. So to to do that when, you know, you've got Messi and Debussy coming back. It's a perfect way to start the, uh, the new year. The second half of the season. Oh, I should have intercepted that. I think I was almost thinking ahead of what I was going to do with the ball when I had it. Pedri now. Now Xerxes. Nice ball to Kang and Lee, is it? Not quite. Kang and Lee just didn't have the pace there. That should be full time. And it's 7 0. Look at those scores, though. I don't know why Gvardiol got a 5.5. I think he played one misplaced pass. Maybe that went against him. But other than that, sixes across the board is a minimum. Lots of sevens and six and a halves. Great stuff. Castro, man, which I knew he was going to be brilliant stuff. But Messi, Pedri, Martinelli, Diaby, they were all fantastic too. But that's it for today, guys. The next match is in the Copa del Rey against Elche. I believe it's the third round. And we'll hopefully have an update on some potential transfers. Herrera might be outgoing, but we'll have to wait and see. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.